So you found this hidden video. Goody for you. Since you're here, I can show you something uh be coming up on this channel, my hardware channel here in the near future. Uh just working with this uh eight segment uh eight digit L C D screen. Or uh, sorry, L E D screen. Uh I got this with the eight digits, so two two little module or two little uh, displays there and the module board for a dollar sixty three on Amazon not that one this one a dollar sixty three free shipping on Amazon gotta love China uh, it takes five wires to connect to the module and you can connect multiple modules one to another right there you can see there's pins to connect another board at the end so that connects the Arduino. Right now, I'm connecting to an Arduino, and I have that connected to my computer through USB, and uh, these numbers are being sent uh, from my computer through a little loop here. Uh, so just a little shell command, uh, basically looping forever, looping zero through nine in position, and looping through uh, you know each digit, and it's doing sending that to the serial port with a slight delay between each number and looping forever and that's given us this little here where it's going through one two three on all all the little different displays there now uh... just to give you a little more preview i can uh... close this command sorry about this and basically switch one variable here from i to x and we get slightly different output now Instead of doing one, two, three, all the way across, it's doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, or sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Moving one position and then doing it again. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm just playing around with today. I just got this in the mail today. Uh, I did do display stuff many years ago when I first got an Arduino. Although I didn't have one of these module boards and I was doing it manually, which was very difficult. And for a buck sixty-three, uh, this is a great deal. And uh, like I said, right now I'm connecting through serial, USB serial to my Arduino, but my next step is to figure out how to do this, uh, which should be pretty much the same, with an ESP module. That way I can send um, data to it through HTTP requests or have it retrieve information from the internet, like weather or time or stock numbers or prices of something, and display it there. So, yeah, that's one of the things I'm working on that will be coming up in the coming months. There's many, many stuff coming up. And because you found the secret video, this hidden video, you got a little preview of it. So goody for you.